<coughs> Hai Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh um, Boleh dengar suara saya Boleh respon saya Boleh dengar suara Gambar ok Hai, hai semua. Saya Madam Mazia Muhammad. So kita bertemu kembali. Okay. So boleh sambung komen. Dengar tak suara saya jelas tak? Okay, alhamdulillah Nazim. Terima kasih. Yang lain macam mana? Berapa orang yang tengah golah dengan saya sekarang untuk kita buat kelas? Okay, thank you Alia, thank you Jebat, thank you Hafizan, Hafizan. Alright, so ada masalah tak kalau saya uh, live melalui uh, YouTube sebab senang untuk saya record dalam island. Okay, thank you Nurin. Alright, Alhamdulillah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Alright. <coughs> okay. Alright, sapi rindu saya. Berapa orang kat sini yang rindu saya Yang masih ingat saya Ok Alhamdulillah Nur Aim Apa yang berapa ramai kat sini yang rindu saya Yang masih ingat saya Yang masih uh, rindu dan nak tengok kelas saya Okay, orang yang sama sahaja saya tengok komen Right Saya masih lagi menunggu <laughs> Saya masih lagi menunggu Sahabat-sahabat uh, lain Untuk live, untuk komen Alright So sila nyatakan kehadiran lah kat sini Dekat live chat Okay uh, Bagi tahu uh, kehadiran siapa yang hadir Okay Alright Supaya kelas rap kita boleh bantu untuk uh, Take note boleh Ok so <coughs> Saya tak nak buang masa lagi Ok Untuk selepas kita punya kelas Saya akan bagi task Untuk uh, Student saya untuk buat Spesifik task berkenaan dengan topik yang saya discuss Alright So uh, Kita akan tengok Kita akan buat Okay dia You kena go through all Saya punya content Nak record Nak banyak kali pun Tak ada masalah Nak nak view banyak kali Nak dengar banyak kali Tak ada masalah Kemudian at the end of the class You kena buat task Yang made them prepare Okay Okay Boleh uh, Shall we continue now Right So Okay So topik yang Sekejap <coughs> eh Okay Salam Ni dah Tak, tak, tak apa uh, Tapi nak guna apa ni? Siap pula kena naik Ya, tunggu dah lah Okay, <coughs> okay bagus, bagus Alright, so Amirul Ashraf hadir Ramai yang hadir, Alhamdulillah Sebab saya gabungkan dua kelas ini. Okay, so now <coughs> Okay Boleh nampak dengan jelas betul Okay, jom Alright, so apa yang kita akan discuss about uh, Kita punya, jap, 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 jap Madam Okay, bagus Alright, so kita akan discuss about file system Okay, file system merupakan cons Okay, nampak eh Okay, point ni dia tak ada ni Tak apa Alright, nampak kan So, file system adalah topik yang kedua sebenarnya Yang selepas command line interface Selepas user interface Yang kita perlu cover Alright, dalam file system Bagaimana kita nak tengok Operating system ini Manage all the file system Okay, bagi apa itu file system File system adalah folder Or directory Ataupun File-file yang kita create Dekat komputer Dekat kita punya system Ada telefon Even ada telefon Bagaimana OS itu Manage the file system Alright 
So now, file management function or call as a file system integrated routine that allow user or programmer untuk create, untuk delete, modify and manipulate file logically by name. Uh, so there are two distinct part of file system sama ada uh, bagaimana kita nak tengok bagaimana uh, storing the file and directory structure. Uh, kita akan tengok ada beberapa subtopik dalam file system. Yang mana kita akan pertama kita akan tengok dulu apa itu file system, apa itu uh, operation dalam file. Okey, jenis-jenis file system. Okey, kemudian kita akan tengok structure, structure directory, structure directory. Okey. Dan kita akan tengok jenis directory. Alright, kemudian kita akan tengok beberapa satu topik okay. So, uh, topik ini mungkin sedikit panjang Tapi kita cuba make it short Kita akan dapatkan yang mana yang betul-betul relevan sahajalah Ataupun yang betul-betul penting saja. Okay, alright So, um, <coughs> file system structure There are two characteristics of secondary file Sebenarnya simpan dalam secondary storage Apa itu secondary storage adalah Uh, it is maybe hard disk mungkin dalam pen drive mungkin dalam uh, kita apa pen drive hard disk SSD dan sebagainya lah ok alright ada karakteristik dia dua sama ada this can be uh, rewritten maksudnya kita boleh read modify dan juga write back ok this juga boleh can be access alright can be access directly any given block of information it contain dan access dia mempunyai berapa teknik access Uh, kita akan belajar nanti ada direct access ada kita panggil sequence access right ok so itu adalah file system saja nampak alright ada 6 operation file yang kita kena tahu alright yang pertama adalah file create the file eh, ataupun for creating a file Address space in the file system is required. Alright, kita nak create file. Address untuk kita create file itu kita perlukan. Alright, so uh, entry first when file is created, entry must be a uh, main uh, in the directory. Uh, the directory entry record nama file tersebut dan juga location where actually the file is located. Alright, so that is one operation pertama adalah creating a file. Alright, kedua adalah writing a file. Okay. System call will be used to writing a file. Right? Bagaimana system call itu digunakan adalah kejap ni. Okay. So writing a file, system call it will be used to writing to a file. It required pertama must required name of the file then information that we want to write to that particular file. Okay. So first to write a file Okay, we need to get a file name. System will search based on the file yang kita cari and locate where is the file and then do the uh, operation written. Okay, so next operation lah reading from a file. Read a file maksudnya data must be read. Alright, read from a data or read a file. System call juga digunakan. It still require a name supaya kita boleh search that particular file based on the address, location. Alright, that read is search. For the associate directory entry and the system need to keep a read pointer to the location di mana sekiranya read operation happen for the second time is easy to access. Alright, that is number three. Number four adalah repositioning within a file. Apa maksud repositioning? Repositioning adalah repositioning. Maksudnya kita uh, kita reposition balik that particular file from another location, from one location to another location. Alright, pertama directory will be searched from the appropriate entry tadi. Kita put the file name, directory will be searched and the current file position is set to a given value. Alright, repositioning within file does not involve an actual I.O. This file operation is also known as file seek. Alright, that is repositioning a file within a file. Alright, meaning that kita put different location lah. Mungkin kita letak dekat copy file from one location to another location. That's also we call as a repositioning. Alright, next operation adalah, operation kelima adalah deleting a file. Alright, so kita as a user, kita boleh delete a file. Bagaimana kita nak delete? Alright, system, as a system side, system will search the directory which file to be deleted. Alright, if the re entry is found, it release all file space. Alright, all entry tadi will be released. 
I will be deleted that free space can be reused to another file Alright, that is how deleting file happen in the file system. Alright, next adalah yang terakhir lah, truncating a file. Apa maksud truncating? We want to do the modification uh, to the file. For example, maybe image file, kita nak truncate, crop dan sebagainya. Alright, user may want to erase content file but keep its attribute. Kita nak erase tapi kita nak kekalkan attribute dia, parameter dia. Rather than forcing the user to delete a file, we can modify, we can recreate. Truncating function allow all attribute to remain unchanged except for the five line. Right, five line will be different. Daripada mungkin uh, daripada uh, 100 kilobyte mungkin will be uh, the size will be different. Right, that is operation. Seterusnya kita akan tengok adalah jenis jenis file, file type dia panggil. Alright, file has certain defined function to its type. Do name of the file in split into two part, a name and extension. Alright, extension meaning that dot something. For example, kita ada uh, word document. So word document, of course, ia adalah dalam bentuk word processor dot w dot doc. Alright, ataupun dot ts. Ia bergantung kepada jenis jenis file tersebut. Alright, now kita tengok file type. Example ialah executable. Executable extension ialah dalam bentuk exe, dalam bentuk uh, bin, com. Alright, object dalam bentuk dot o. Source code dalam bentuk dot Java, dot cc, dot c, bash dalam bentuk dot sh is a scripting, text dalam bentuk txt or doc, word processor dalam bentuk uh, wp text rtf doc, library dot lib, print dot pdf dot jpeg, a tab dot zip car, multimedia like mpeg, move, uh, right, mp3 dan juga mpi. So that is all five type. Okay, so kita tengok seterusnya adalah access method hmm. Saya dah discuss sebelum ini ada beberapa access method Bagaimana uh, salah satu karakteristik of file system ialah It, uh, it giving the, uh, the it giving the opportunity untuk kita untuk access As a file system, dia boleh access the, method, access the file system Melalui beberapa method Alright, okay, yang pertama adalah Kita panggil sequence, sequential access Which is very simple Alright, data will be accessed dalam bentuk sequential Alright, information in the file is processed in order dalam bentuk true time One record after the other The file is read or written sequentially starting at the beginning until to the end Alright, so uh, OS use the address of the last byte read to access the next sequential record Therefore, the current byte address ataupun we call as CBA will be, must be updated every time a record is accessed It different with direct access. Direct access ataupun kita panggil random access to any file or block. This method is based on the this method of a file. It allow program to read and write record rapidly in no particular order. This method generally involve the construction of an index of the file. Alright, itu adalah access type bagi file system. Seterusnya kita tengok direct clean structure. Right. All modern operating system have added the hierarchy directory model to represent collection of files. A directory itself contains information about the file, including the attribute, location, and ownership. OS manage this type of information. Okay, so kita tengok this one. Okay, this is also in directory ataupun kita panggil folder. Apa yang kita boleh buat as user, boleh buat dan user buat maksudnya system capable to do this operation. Right, pertama ialah search. As user kita boleh search, right? When you do the searching, uh, file system uh, find there is a searching punya, kita punya operation. That really search is search for finding particular file in the directory. File has symbolic name and similar name may indicate a relationship between file. Uh, bila we do the searching, kita boleh search sahaja Then uh, system will find the same exactly uh, for the file name Dan juga mungkin yang ada kaitan will be displayed together Alright, creating a file or creating directory When a new file is created, entry must be added to the directory Alright, itu biasa bila create a new file, new entry must be created <laughs> Deleting a file Alright, entry tadi yang create tadi will be removed from the directory Then another directory will be, uh, location tadi will be uh, placed to another uh, directory Alright, so rename a file As a user, we can rename a file Alright, name of the file must be changeable when the content or use of the file change Renaming a file may also allow the position within the directory structure to be changed 
Alright. List directory is another attribute ataupun another operation that we can do. We can do the list directory. Maksudnya kita boleh list all the content dalam uh, folder or directory tersebut. Alright. Menggunakan contoh sebelum ini, Madam ada explain bagaimana kita boleh menggunakan uh, command line seperti ls dalam linux ataupun dir dalam dos alright bagaimana kita boleh list all the directory yang berada dalam that particular folder alright so seterusnya okey seterusnya kita akan tengok beberapa jenis uh, directory structure alright yang pertama adalah very simple one which is single level directory alright single level directory okey from here we can see single level directory Okay, so ada dua, ada single level sahaja which is root, which is uh, kita panggil origin dia. Alright, so kemudian kita ada uh, another level, one level. We have A, B, A, B, C file ataupun directory. Single level directory is simple directory such as a file are contained in the same directory. This advantages is which is not suitable for large number of files and more than one user and file required unit file ni alright there are these advantages dia tak sesuai untuk um, uh, sistem yang punya file yang banyak dan juga multi multi user environment di mana setiap file mempunyai unit name kita tak boleh buat nama file yang sama untuk setiap uh, untuk setiap file directory kenapa sebab dia adalah single directory alright single level directory Kemudian kita tengok two level directory. Alright, two level directory we have another directory. Alright, uh, two level. Okay, each user has its own directory. It's called as UFD ataupun user file directory. Di mana user uh, each user file directory has a similar structure. Different user may have file with the same name. Tak ada masalah. Uh, different user punya nama file yang sama tak ada masalah. As long as dia berada dekat UFD yang berbeza. Alright, so you, OS cannot accidentally delete another user file that has the same name because OS must contain the search the local UFD. Okay, that is two level directory. Di mana kelemahan ke uh, kelebihan dia dia uh, much better than single user type, single level directory. Tetapi kita ada another user. Maksudnya kita uh, manage this two level directory managed by different user punya directory maksudnya we have UFD yang berbeza alright next adalah tree structure directory MS-DOS is tree structure directory it allow user to create their own subdirectory and organize their file accordingly a subdirectory contain a set of file or subdirectories ok kalau kita tengok kat sini alright ia a bit complicated sedikit berbanding dengan two level directory tadi di mana kita punya tiga level alright tiga level Alright, so Okay, so we have three level directory Kat sini, we have For example, this is root We have one here Alright, mail, we have another Directory and we have another directory here That is three level directory Okay Next is Arclic graph directory Which is actually enhanced a bit From three direct level directory Which is allow directory to have Shared sub directory and file Same file directory may be in two different directories. Share file and sub directory can be using link. Okay, kita akan ada konsi. Kita tengok kat situ sharing the link. For example, here we have two directory berbeza. But we have the link here. Or this file is shared by this directory and also this directory. Same goes to here. This directory is sharing by this and also by this. Uh, that is our click graph directory. Allow directory to have shared sub directory and file. Same file or directory may be in two different directory. Share file and directory sub directory can be implemented by using link ataupun by sharing link. Okay, that is we call Arclic graph directory. Okay, so next kita tengok path and directory. This is uh, kita panggil part of typical Linux file system tree di mana kita mempunyai uh, system structure ataupun file structure this we call as root under root kita mempunyai banyak folder kat sini ataupun directory contoh dekat home itself we have jane, will, zap this is example alright kita punya Linux mungkin different tetapi or, ini tetap sama one root sama 
second level adalah sama ini under home it depends on any linux system in home here example we have jin will zap right here under will we have work and play this is we call as path directory and this example adalah uh, uh, linux directory and here kalau kita tengok where actually location of play directory play berada dekat will dan berada dekat home and this is root you see this is root this is home will play this is we call uh, kita panggil apa dia punya link path alright so itu adalah link path alright file system mounting kita tak perlu belajar ok file protection it is a mechanism yang provide control access bali ni kena type of file access that can be made sama ada kita boleh bagi access read or write or executable Alright, so ini biasanya kita akan tengok dekat uh, contoh ok, Madam tutup sekejap contoh kita ada file sini nampak tak ok, contoh kat sini ok, kita ada show sorry ok sekejap Madam tengok yang ni ok, this is contoh example we have ok, uh, Madam under UITM folder Madam properties You tengok kat sini Okay And we have Security kat sini Alright Under security side We can see here We have Access control list Sama ada kita nak bagi full control Modify Read and execute Tadi kita tengok read and execute And write Right Read write And this is the uh, Kita panggil apa Control access Yang kita boleh bagi kepada this particular folder which is here ialah folder UIKM alright, so this is example of Windows ok, Linux will be different a bit, di mana Linux, kita ada different punya uh, uh, interface, right then ok, in Linux here is in Linux if we can see in Linux alright, we have this control access, we have read write and execute Right, we have read, write, and execute, append, delete, and list. We can see kat sini we have R for read, W for write, X for execute. Right, so this is here. This is for user. Tiga yang pertama adalah for user. Tiga yang tengah ini for group. Yang terakhir lah for others. Means that user is owner. User who create the file. So user ini boleh buat apa? User can do the read, can write cannot execute for example a group group only can read group cannot write group cannot execute and others here others cannot read others cannot write others also cannot execute this is one of example right in linux we can use a command line uh, menggunakan command uh, list mode kita boleh view lsmod we can view all the uh, access control for that particular file and after we use a list mode we can see here alright ataupun we just use ls sahaja ls minus l alright so we can check alright dia punya control access access control kat sini alright so this is one of example this is for user this for group and this for um, others here for user or owner owner can write owner can execute owner can read here group cannot write but group can execute and read others alright sorry sorry madam silap alright here kita start dengan sini c is for type r w s this one and love for owner owner can read owner can write owner can execute yang ketiga yang tengah ini on uh, group can read group cannot uh, write but group can execute Alright, others can read Others cannot write But others can execute So this is example of will Punya folder Alright, so bila kita buat Dan bentuk uh, binary mode Kita akan dapat 755 7 stand for semua satu 111 which is Equal to binary lah 7 Alright, R101 which is 5, here also mode lah 101 which is 5 Alright, this is what we call SS control. Next, we 
will look at on five technology. There are uh, three type of five technology. We have FAT, NTFS, and EXT. Right. So in this case, we have uh, different of uh, operating system use different. Uh, kita panggil file technology. Right. For example, kat sini kalau kita tengok kat sini, okay, FAT system is supported for MS DOS dan juga Windows 95 or Windows version. FAT 16 and FAT 32 support for Windows 95, 98 and ME. Uh, why latest Windows support NTFS, FAT 16 dan juga FAT 32. Why Linux is different? Linux is supported uh, EXT2, FAT 32 and also FAT 16. Alright. Okay. So, uh, beda makan bagi task. Bagaimana uh, kita akan buat different shape between five allocation table. Kita ada bertiga uh, jenis allocation table. Pertama ialah contiguous allocation. Kita ada uh, kat sini contiguous, kita ada index, right? Dan kita ada uh, direct. Okay? So, kat sini nanti media makan buat task untuk you all buat perbezaan between this uh, five allocation table. Okay. Seterusnya kita tengok adalah uh, NTFS compared to ST. Apa beza dia? NTFS is more powerful than FAT32 which is improved in terms of access speed, performance, reliability, fault tolerance and juga recoverability, complexity, security as well as support for long file name, large volume. NTFS namely digunakan dekat Microsoft Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 2000 and Windows NT until today punya Windows. Okay. So, berbeza dengan EST, EST2 and EST3 adalah file system used in Linux or Minute file system which is more server data and fast reboot. Improve in terms of data integrity dan juga recovery especially after unclean system shutdown. Alright, that's it from Madam. Alright, other questions so far? Okay, ada soalan? Okay. Ada soalan? Ada soalan tak semua? Kita dah almost complete dengan file system. Alright, selepas ini, Madam akan bagi task untuk setiap orang uh, buat task ini, file system. Okay, supaya uh, you all lebih faham topik file system dalam CSC 204. Alright. Okay, sebelum Madam end kita punya live ini, alright, untuk topik file system. Untuk topik file system sahaja sebab kita akan masuk topik yang baru selepas ini. Alright. Ada soalan so far? Okay, tak ada. Alright, so semua ready untuk task? Ready tak untuk task? Boleh? Kita akan ada task untuk file system. Okay, ready untuk task? Okay, kalau tak ada apa, uh, Madam uh, end Madam punya last sekejap. Alright, supaya Madam boleh buat task dan send to everyone. Kemudian kita akan masuk topik baru which is topik device driver. Alright, so stay tuned dan enjoy your class. Okay, bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.